Vitalia retaking the B site and Dupree is coming from Banana and he's gonna wall bank coffins here where Rest is holding from one of the most played positions from the T's in a post plant on B site. Buster coming up short is going to smoke off Moto from behind this bench and then he wall bangs Coldzera killing the CT that was playing on top of that box. Give this wall bang a try next time you come up lane. If you're the A long arch player and you're about to face an A execute, most likely T's are going to smoke you off moto. So what you can do is throw your own defensive one way smoke to get into sight and play on top of this box where you have a one way to spot towards lane. We see Blitz makes this play in this round and gets two frags off this. If you're playing in the back corner of A site, you could throw this site defensive smoke by aiming at this arrow here, walk forward and right click throw. Get on top of this box and you have a nice little one way to spot towards short, which we see Fang do here, gets one frag off of it. This smoke here will make the T so mad, make sure to use it. Banana control nades from behind coffins, Perfecto is going to smoke banana by aiming here, then jump throw, afterwards he jumps on top of coffins, aiming here, walks forward and jump throw for the deep Molotov, then throws this banana flash for his teammates. You could actually smoke T stairs from the same position while standing, similar lineup but you're going to aim here, then press your run throw bind. The smoke will land top T stairs and gives cover for any type of mid push or even banana push, giving you cover. You guys need to use this molly when taking mid control. Stand with the left of the door frame, aim here, then run throw bind. This Molotov will cover the left and right side, including the cubby. Fang is going to throw the mid smoke at the start of the round. And how complex are you going to use this is they're going to cross to the left side of mid and they're going to boost to see over the smoke, which Halzerk spots the player jumping up and kills him. Exertion throws the car one way smoke standing inside the bench, aims bottom of this antenna, then left click throw, follows up with a banana flash. His teammate is going to peek right side of the car, giving him a one way. The smoke puts out the Molotov to allow him to do so. You can see you can barely spot him. Hello everyone, this is your weekly dose of Monacy. He is showing off his ultimate move, the smoke nade bug on Inferno, when CT is smoked off. If you throw an HE nade anywhere around this area, doesn't have to be exact. Once the nade explodes, you will be able to see the outline of the models. A lot of people know that you can wall bang the default in the middle of it with an op. Here we see Favin do so, tagging down Siren. Then he drops the gun and picks up a rifle and then finishes him off through the wall bang here with the M4. But did you know you could also wall bang the middle of the default with a pistol? First off, Alexi B made a great play, body blocking the smoke from landing correctly, leaving him a gap to work with. Apex is gonna go plant the bomb behind default, and then Alexi B is gonna stop the plant by wall banging in the middle of the default here with a USP pistol. Yes, that is right. You can wall bang the middle of this with a USP pistol. You saw that once Apex died, Zaiwu picked up the bomb and plant to the left of default. Exertion snuck himself into window room and then gets on the ledge as the smoke is about to fade where he gets the advantage on the CT here. Then he follows up with a smoke for outside of the rat hole which is actually going to give him cover to come out and onto the bricks here where he has a one way to work with where Fiku is going to be rotating in out of market and he's not expecting Exertion to be in this position. Exertion gets the free frag. If you plan on going up connector to A, just go ahead and throw this simple smoke off the connector wall here, which basically gives you a one way on either side of the wall for A site, which we see flames use here. But at the same time, it gives you cover from catwalk. It's been known now from top Tetris, you could spot the gap here to see if anyone is towards sandwich as well as you could wall bang through that gap. It also works vice versa. So from the CT point of view, you could also spot the gap and wall bang through that as well. If you're a short player and you jump on towards this top ledge and get close to the wall and hold this angle here, you'll get the early jump to any T's that try to jump onto the bench to peak short. Taps is going to check to see if any CTs are playing towards firebox by jumping off the garbage can here. This only works if the CTs are standing. Crimbo smokes bottom connector from B site. He's going to stand next to this wall here, puts his crosser like this on the shadow, then jump throw. To stay up to date with the latest CSGO meta, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I am the number one source when it comes to CSGO pro tips, tricks, and tactics. Also, I'm so freaking close to my goal of 50k, it would mean a lot to me. If by now you've not been using the left A defensive smoke, what are you doing? 
Well, that's all right, because I'm here to inform you and to show you some more clips of pros using this smoke, and you can see how strong it is. It gives Patsy the dice player a nice one way here, fragging refresh. Here is the same smoke used in a different round by a different team and player. Fame is in close truck corner and is able to spot the shadows of the Fnatic players pushing up before they could spot him. Now that's a good smoke. I rate this smoke a 9.4 out of 10. Try this movement play next time before you go out of playground. So you're going to see Refresh here do a strafe jump but doesn't fully commit to bait any shots if there was an opera holding. However, he does it about three times, doesn't hear any shots, then fully swings with his teammates and gets the frag onto the party player. Exertion has the perfect connector flash on site. While standing on the rail, you're going to aim at this part of the green, then left click throw. Frozen, his connector teammate calls for a flash after OG Maltop connector. Had the flash landed earlier, Nexa would have got owned for sure. Shush has two flashes to take water after making sure nobody comes out monster. He's going to aim here for the first flash for short with the jump throw. Then he follows up with the second flash aiming at the green, walk forward and left click throw. If you want to go through the divider smoke, throw this flash, stand next to this bench, aim here at the shadow, then jump throw. Your teammates will thank you later for this flash. Kaden and Yabby are going to nade stack the pillar here from the railing of water. They don't really have a set lineup. It's a pretty forgiving nade stack. JT has a nice little present coming his way. Favin has a variation of the house Molotov that prevents CTs from entering house. Stand in this corner, put your crosshair at this stair without moving your mouse. Run forward all the way till you reach the bottom of this stair here. Jump throw. Pair this Molotov with a door Molotov and you have mid control. Nitro smokes top con from canals. He's ducked here, aims like this, then stands up and jump throw. Afterwards, he's going to follow it up with a connector flash by aiming at this part of the window, then runs forward and left click throw. This is the most common flash that pros are throwing to take connector. This smoke prevents any CTs from playing outside the doorway where we see them often jiggle peeking or an opera holding from. This smoke also acts as a one way, which we see you kinder did there. Didn't have much footage of it, so I'm going to show you what it looks like in a private server. So the smoke will land on top of the stair here. It's going to give you cover, like I said before. However, this works really good as a one way to peek towards the back site and temple area. And as you can see, you can't spot the T that is going to use the smoke. Keto Molly's mid door from canal, stand on the back wall, aim here, then left click throw. Grim coming downstairs is going to right click jump throw this moth type that lands on this roof part here, which is going to fake the sound that complex the Molotov A main. They're going to use this bait to rush A to catch the CTs by surprise. Snappy Molotov's A sight as well as throwing a entry flash. He's going to stand, aim here, then jump throw for the sight Molotov. The sight flash will aim here, then jump throw. Balde smoked off A main and he gets up close to his smoke. Some Pius is going to flash him through the smoke by staying in the back of the jail. Aims there, jump throw. This flash will blind anyone holding that cubby. Attention A main players. Try this off angle position from flop B. Duck behind the table as you see him pick off two frags here. It's a good position to hold because if the T's walk in, you get the early jump onto them. Look at this entry flash Valde throws past Fountain here as he's about to enter into A site. What's nice about this flash is that it forces the CT in sight to look away. When they turn back after the flash pops, you're already up in their face as we see here. Taps in with a A flash entry from A main, stand behind this wall, put your crosshair like this, then left click throw. Fast left B site smoke, stand here, put your crosshair like this. Then jump throw, followed up with a sight flash by aiming here, then run forward and jump throw. Use this utility to rush B. Long south side B main is going to throw a smoke off this doorway, which allows him to lurk through the smoke towards this left side on this platform, where he's going to catch the two spirit players by surprise here with the two frags. Favin from Big Clan is going to throw a similar smoke here, the lurk smoke where he's going to come through here, tries to see if there's a one way towards the right, however there isn't, and instead comes towards the left afterwards and kills Hunter. You see from Hunter's POV he was holding for this push out, but loses the duel. Magis throws two B smokes from this position here, outside B main. The first smoke while standing he's going to aim here, that's for temple, left click throw. Second smoke is for the left B side smoke. Aim bottom of this tooth here and jump throw. Spirit split B using these two smokes. 
Madden jiggle peeking from Top Con is going to Molotov it off, and then he gets up close when the Molotov is about to fade, and he throws the smoke on top of it, which is gonna give him a nice little one way to hold from the left here, and he waits for any T's to come by to take this bait. From Grimm's POV, he was suspicious of this one way, however, he gets caught by it. If you're on the back platform of B site, you can throw a smoke off this pillar here that lands in front of you, giving you a nice little defensive smoke. The smoke also gives you a one way if you jump on top of the bricks, which we see some pious do here, however, Halzerk was holding for it. Perfecto Molotov's off B main from this back left corner on the platform. He's going to aim here, walk forward, and jump throw. Jaime with IV control nades, first he's going to Molotov short by aiming here while standing left and right click throw. Then he moves over towards the right where he's going to flash IV by aiming here, walks two steps forward and jump throw. Crims climbs up into ladder at the start round, breaks the windows, gets next to this railing here while standing jump throw this flash. His teammates will rush up ramp, which we see Messi get on top of the sandbags and gets three frags off Crims' flash. If you want to get better at CSGO, then click subscribe and the bell button and let's do this together. Hey, I've seen that flash. This is a good one to get into middle. Mr. Not out here did a video demonstrating that. And it's just a flashbang.